so welcome everyone we will be demonstrating how to con uh, communicate tlc with python okay so i wanted to ask you a question what if you could control your tlc from python imagine reading and writing data directly to your siemens tlc without expensive software just with a few lines of code so i will be showing you exactly how to do it using python snap 7 library step by step whether you are an automation engineer, a student, or a hobbyist, mastering PLC, Python programming, communications will let you test logic, automate process, and even log PLC data into database for analysis. By the end of this video, you will be able to connect Python to your PLC, read values, write data, and troubleshoot any connection issue. So, we will be just uh, starting with the slideshow and then we will finish and uh, we will start with the demonstration so we will first in, I will just introduce you to PLC in Python then uh, we will go to PLC configurations then uh, we will go to uh, Python installations and library needed to communicate Python and uh, PLC I will show you a PLC configuration demonstrations and uh, Python dem demonstration to read bits, integers, and strings. So here are the PLC requirements. We will be doing a project in 15.1, 17, 18, or 19. We just need to create a project and download it in the PLC. Then we need to set the PLC IP within the range of the PC in which Python script is to be executed. So, so this is our uh, PC and in this PC we are going to execute uh, the python script so suppose the plc ip address is 192.168.0.1 then the pc ip should be or uh, we can set it to this 192.168.0.240 then in plc we need to create a data block for example i have considered it a db3 with the data types of integers real strings and boolean in it i will be just showing you very soon then in the plc security configurations we have to create a user with full access and then we need to enable get put in the plc then in python we need to install python 3.1.12 that is 3.12 then visual studio code also is required to uh, edit the python uh, script then we will also need to install python snap 7 library in the command prompt just type pip install snap 7 and it will be installed then here are the some python codes which we need to copy paste in your uh, python script and uh, it will run okay so here we are importing some python snap 7 library which is made to communicate plc with python we are also importing time and then uh, this is all python snap 7 library imports then we will we'll be making connection to the plc with the snap 7 library so our PLC we will call it a client, client snap 7 dot client dot client we will be establishing connection with the IP address of this. This will be the IP address of the PLC and uh, rack 0 slot 1 and here is a list. Then we will uh, make a function to read bits from the PLC memory and then we will also make a python functions to write, uh, write values in the uh, write values of the PLC DB values okay and here at the end we will be making a while loop to continuously read and monitor values in the, the Python script so just uh, we will start with the PLC demonstration so here is my PLC projects so first uh, thing is we need to do is uh, as I shown in the PPT, we need to set the PLC IP to this. So I will just show you. PLC IP is configured here. It will just take few minutes. Here it is 192.168.0.1, and you can see that. Hardware catalog. You can see here 
in the PLC, we have hardware rack zero slot one, which was needed in the Python Snap7 library. Then here, once you go down uh, in the operating mode, that will be protection security, connection mechanisms. Here, here you need to tick this permit access with gate put and all from remote partners. If you are not getting is this enabled, then what you need to do is first of all security settings. I'll show you. Here you can go to security settings, users and roles. You have you will by default you will have this anonymous user. You go you need to go to the roles, go here. You will need to add a new role like this. So and now with this role go just uh, the user specification runtime rights uh, here yeah, sorry select this user select your PLC and select here full access okay when and after saying this uh, yeah with this anonymous user you can just click this tick here okay now that uh, then compile once your project save and compile your project once and after that compiling your uh, get to available for you to tick it okay and once this compilation is done we will be uh, downloading our project but before that we need to create a db here you can create a db here by double clicking on this add a new block Yeah, data block global db name it whatever you want and here you can go to manual and uh, change the db number i have already created it then open that db create an array or we can say a list of uh, different data types which we need to read and write in uh, the plc for example here you can see i have created a uh, integer data types real string character word boolean these are the data types which we will which we will be using to read and write from plc uh, from python let's go to the python oh, before that i'll just download it uh, i'll just select it and uh, download it in the plc okay okay so yeah so in this demonstration we will be only reading and writing boolean values so i will be reading this top four values and uh, i will write them and read them also so first of all we uh, this is my python code so we, here you can see this is a uh, logic is same as shown in the ppt uh, here we have imports of python snap 7 and time then we are making a connection to snap7 library to with snap7 library to the plc with the ip address is defined here then <coughs> i am i am the creating a D, uh, db uh, function i am creating a function to read bits db bits from the plc memory and also a function to write db uh, bits value that is the boolean true or false zero or one then here you can just ignore this for a few uh, minutes because we will be demonstrating this soon then here i am creating a while loop in this while loop i am reading the db bits here it is the client client means the connections to the plc that we connected here then it is a db number for example see here let's explain this how to how this db bits work see here that python is having a uh, here that uh, when i created this db the function block i'm sorry when this function block i have created some parameter like plc db number byte index and bit index this is how we access any db or function block in python with plc uh, in plc with so here 
can see that in this function I have considered PLC read areas which will read the DB area area dot DB here we will come the DB this is a function we are using here is the DB number height index bit index for example uh, in the PLC you can see here this is DB number 3 here you can see DB number 3 byte index is 5630 and bit index will be point, uh, 3, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0, anything that you wish and same is for the writing the bits also just we need to here plc dot write area plc dot read area there is no big difference and that's it and in the while loop we are just reading every uh, four all the four bits of 5630 byte so when I will run this, you will come to know that uh, what are the values, current values of the bits. So I will just run it once again in the, okay. After running it, it shows all the bits are false and value to write in DB. So currently I am writing the fourth bit of 5630 byte, which is this. And we will just see that I am not modifying it from here. I will modify it from here. I will just type it one and enter and see this db3.dbx5630.4 value is set to one and now its value is true and you can see here also its value is true. Now for the instance uh, I want to read this value also so for I will modify this from one. modify it to one and next time we will read it next time when we will read it the value should in python code that is we have modified one this value which is false right now it should be true okay and uh, this value we are going to modify it to zero so it should be zero and that value should be one so i modified it to zero now you can see this value which we write from the python is now false and this which is true we read it we read it here and it is now true so this is how we read uh, bits from PLC with Python and we can create uh, industry 4.0 this is the very small demonstration of industry 4.0 we can say and uh, we can read each and every bits and bytes of PLC or from DB in uh, Python snap 7 library and this was a quick demonstration we can make it more like we will uh, we are working on how to read integers from plc right integers in the db right and we will also read strings and uh, write strings in the uh, in the plc right and if you are having any doubt let me know i will just uh, answer all the questions okay